Yeah. So you said that we have one mole of carbon, mm -hmm. which contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms. Yeah. Now, this value is always constant. It is said as Avogadro number. Okay. Okay. And one mole of carbon would always equals to its mass also. That is 12 gram. So, if I am okay. saying that we have a one mole of any element like carbon, silicon, sulfur, that one mole would always contain this amount of atoms. <laughs> and okay. that mole of element would also contains its respective mass also. So from this equation, we can also say that 12 gram would be equals to 6.022 multiplied by 10 to the power 23. So that means in carbon case, 12 gram is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms. Okay. Now, if questions can arise from uh, this part that how many atoms contain in a 1 gram of carbon? So, we can do it, right? Uh, what, what did you say? If I say that, if I say that how many atoms, how many atoms can are there in a uh, Two gram of carbon. So can we do that? How many atoms contain in a two gram of carbon? So that means if twelve uh, gram is containing these amount this amount of atom, then two mm -hmm. gram of carbon containing. First of all, we will find out. Okay. What number of atoms are there in one gram of carbon? So this is the value of the number of atoms which contain in a one gram of carbon. Now okay. the question is asking about two gram. So just multiply it by two. Okay. So did you got it? Okay. Um, a little bit information. Uh, what? Did you got this? Any doubt here? No, I don't. Oh, that's fair. Okay. So if Wait. I say that, yeah. So if I should say I... that, yeah, please. Uh, should I get my calculator? Yeah, sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So please use this calculation and let me know that what is the answer here. Oh, should I write it down here? Sorry? Should I write the answer here? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Is this right? Yeah, it's fine. Right. Very good. Okay. 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 So uh, now we know that uh, the question related to moles. Let us do one more example. So for example, uh, I said that uh, we have uh, oxygen that is one moles. Okay. One moles of oxygen that contains again 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Now, to simplify the calculation, let's let assume that this value is uh, 6. Okay. Just to have a simple calculation. Yeah. Now, this 1 moles of oxygen would also contain 16 gram of its mass. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that means you can also see that moles is also able to explain the relationship between its mass and its number of atoms. Because moles is acting as a bridge here. 
moles also having the mass of its element and moles is also telling the number of atoms in this element okay so okay. if i say that that one is one moles of oxygen contains if one moles of oxygen contains six atoms then how many moles just listen to the question how many moles how many moles are there in uh, let's say 18 atoms if we have 18 atoms and how many moles should be there? Uh, three moles, right? That's right. Very good. So that yeah. means now we can reverse uh, the number of atoms to find a number of moles. So we can say it should be three moles. So as you can see, if we have simplified this whole term into six, so we are able to find the cal uh, we are able to find the calculation very much easily. Okay. So now if I say that uh, if we have uh, 48 gram of mass, if I have 48 gram of oxygen, then how many moles should be there? And how many atoms should be there? Let's talk about the moles first. So if I have 48 gram of oxygen, then how many <coughs> moles should be there? One mole of oxygen was containing 16 gram of its mass. And if I have 48 gram of oxygen, then how many moles should be there? It should be around somewhere four, right? But three, like one mm. mole of oxygen was containing one mole of oxygen was having 16 gram. And if I am having 48 gram, then it should be three oxygen, okay? Okay. Yeah, so 48 gram of oxygen is now having three moles. And again, one mole of oxygen was having six atoms then three moles of oxygen is having 18 atoms simple okay but you got it any okay. confusion here shall i uh, uh, revise this whole part again yeah this one time so uh the first part which i told you that scientists discovered a simple relationship between the atoms mass elements mass and number of atoms in a single element so as an example we have discussed that let's suppose we have a carbon so one mole of carbon would contain also its mass one mole of carbon would also contain its number of atoms so one mole of carbon was were having the mass that is 12 gram one mole of carbon is also having the number of atoms that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. This value will always remain constant. This value will always remain constant and it was discovered by the Avogadro. In moles, you must have uh, learned about this scientist. Okay. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so one mole of carbon will, would also contain its mass that is 12 gram so mole is acting as a bridge mole was a unit mole is acting as a bridge also from this equation we can find out the number of gram the number of moles and the number of atoms in any question how about it yeah so a little bit little bit more information adding here that if i am saying that one mole of carbon so carbon is a atom 
carbon is an atom or element, whatever we can say. That's why we are saying that one mole of carbon contains this amount of atom. Now, if I write, if I write one uh, mole of oxygen, now this is O2. I cannot write it as an element or atom. I have to write this as a molecule, right? Yeah. Any two type of atom is called molecule, right? So one mole of O2 molecule, now it is also containing the same amount of atoms. That is 6 prime into 2, 2 into 10 to the power 23. Okay, but 